brings me to my next introduction. Like Elvis, Cher, Rasputin, this is a man we've come to know by his first name alone. He manages and was instrumental in the creation of the Iowa Film Office. And his efforts have brought both a new level of service to filmmakers and a new economic resource to our state. You're in great hands with Wendell. Please welcome Wendell Jarvis. Jeff Reno, thanks a lot. Um, I want to thank you all for coming here tonight. It's, it's great to see so many friends, so many people we've, I've worked with before and hope to work with in the future here tonight. And uh, our event here for the Iowa Film Office, a state fair for the arts, is, is a special kind of contribution and culmination of what we Iowans are. And we want to share that with you here tonight. Uh, there's one group that I want to uh, express a special welcome to, and that's the uh, representatives of the Donna Reed Film Festival. We're very proud of their cooperation and assistance in working with us here in Iowa. And, you know, in, in Iowa, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, a lot of people have, uh, have called us up to do film production in the state. And we haven't had the biggest film office in the past, and we're still growing. But one of the things that we've done is to try to show a special brand of support and cooperation that you don't uh, maybe find with every film commission. And with that, when a film company has a question or a problem, the answer is, answer is simple. Just give me a call. And if it's after work hours or on a weekend, you know what to do. Just call Wendell's place. You've got the number. And I'm there to take care of those problems for you. And last year, we had a film company that made one of those calls. Uh, Cinecom International Pictures gave us a call. We worked with them. And they filmed the, uh, the motion picture Miles from Home in Iowa. Two other film companies are shooting presently right now. And we're, we're very happy to work side by side with them as well. But I suppose the, uh, the biggest benefit that we have in the state is our close working relationship with Governor Branstad. It's something that I feel very fortunate to have that kind of relationship with him and his office, and it really makes my job a lot easier. It's, it's real easy for me to stand up here and, and, uh, and take praise for some of the things that have happened in Iowa, but it's really because of his help and support that have made those things happen. And the governor being here to today is an example of his cooperation and support to the film industry. And uh, he is without a doubt uh, the number one salesman for the state and our number one film fan. And with that, I'd like to introduce Governor Terry Branstad. Wendell Jarvis, thank you for that introduction, and thank you for the outstanding job you do in running the Iowa Film Office. Not only can you call Wendell or Wendell's place at night, if you really have a big production, you can even call directly to the governor's office, and if, if, if it's night or weekends, you can call me at Terrace Hill, which is the governor's residence, because we are serious about this, but we want your business. And we would love to, to be able to assist you to, to make a production in Iowa. And of course, Wendell Jarvis. And we think we've got the best director of the film office of any state in the United States. And I'm going to present some special awards to some very special people. And we want to recognize a couple of people that have some important ties to the state of Iowa. Their names are Marion Reese and Richard Maybaum. And I would ask I would ask them to start coming up front here and I want to tell you about them. Marion Reese was born in Lamar's, grew up in Carroll, Iowa, attended the University of Iowa. She's considered one of 
Hollywood's most successful independent producers, won the Emmy in 1986 for her production, Love is Never Silent, executive producer of the upcoming ABC TV movie, Little Girl Lost, and she's the president of Women in Film. We're very proud of her and very proud to have such a distinguished native Iowa woman. And I'm going to present her with an award. And the, and the award is a piece of the rock, the state rock of Iowa, the geode. Thank you. Would Thank you like you, to Terry. say? <laughs> this is really wonderful. Yes. Oh, all right. I, w I will. I, I had some thoughts coming here this evening, realizing I was to receive this award. Uh, they've been washed away in a sweeping sense of nostalgia and the comfort of being home. Um, I won't make this long. I could tell you a lot about my feelings, but what Jeff Reno has said, and I've just met him, he is the best friend of my nephew, and we meet here tonight, and seeing Governor Branstad and friends Dorothea Petrie, who produced Love is Never Silent and was the Emmy producer, I've had a wonderful experience that I didn't anticipate, but I want to tell you, and Wendell, congratulations to all of you for a most wonderful presentation in a most uh, tasteful way of introducing yourself so well to our community. I'm proud to be from Iowa. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you very much. I told her I love that outfit with the elephants on it. I've got quite a collection of elephants back home. And also, I want to tell you a little bit about this award. The geode is a, a very unique rock formation. It was formed over millions of years. If you look at the outside, it's very rough and very rough and sturdy, I think like Iowans. But then if you break it open and you see the inside, there's beautiful crystals. And this is formed by water going through this rock over millions of years. And these are only found basically in southeast Iowa. So it's a very unique rock. And I want you to know that we don't we only present these to a very select group of people. The last time I presented this, it was to the president of, of U.S. West, who's also a native Iowan. And the other occasions when it's been presented was on a trip to Israel in 1985, when it was presented to Shimon Perez and Iksak Shamir. So we consider this to be a very great honor. And the next recipient is Richard Maybaum, who came to Iowa in the late 1920s to attend the University of Iowa. While he was a student, he wrote a play entitled The Tree. This student-written play became the first Broadway production based from Iowa. It was performed in, on Broadway in 1931. And the original manuscript was placed in the cornerstone of the new E.C. Maybe Theater at the University of Iowa. And of course, Dr. Maybe was a famous professor at the University of Iowa and a mentor for Mr. Maybaum. Maybaum is a leading screenwriter and is currently working on his 13th James Bond script. Richard Maybaum. Dick. Thank you. My speech tonight, my speech tonight was written by Larry Speaks. Thank you. I think I should inform you that 58 years ago, when I arrived in Iowa City to enroll at the university, I couldn't possibly have foreseen this occasion. I'm truly grateful to be here, Governor Branstad, Mr. Jarvis. I owe you an apology 
I've worked on a dozen James Bond screenplays, and I still haven't dreamed up how to put James Bond in Iowa. <laughs> but I'll get on that just as soon as this lousy strike is over. <laughs> Last week at the Academy Awards, one of the Oscar winners said, I think I'll go home now and die. Well, I think I'll go home now and break out a battle of 007's favorite Dom Perignon 52 and toast the great, beautiful state of Iowa, to which I owe so much. It's my natural habitat as a writer because that's where the tall corn grows. Thank you very much. Thank you.